Hello and good morning, beautiful family. It is Friday, TGIF. I hope you are doing well and I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July holiday if you celebrate it. Let's get started with how spirit wants us to end our week and go into the weekend. Work your light oracle today is you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Well, we do tend to overthink things. At least I do. Do not question things so much. You are on the right track. You're facing the right way. Stop overthinking it. It's happening and you are closer than you think. You're exactly where you need to be and things are moving at the perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is the time to walk steady. There's no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. If a thought that things should be moving faster enters your head, that is just your ego comparing your rising to someone else. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane. Water your own garden, knowing that your time to bloom will come soon. Absolutely, I agree. We spend a lot of time comparing ourselves to someone else. And that takes time away from walking your own individual path. Okay, there's an old phrase, the grass is greener on the other side. That's not necessarily true. You may get to the other side and it's all burned up and there's nothing left to grow. Make sure that you stay on your path. Okay? There are a lot of things in life that we walk together on, but your individual soul journey is yours and yours alone. Okay? Do not compare it to someone else. You never know what someone else is going through. They might look good on the outside, but being torn up on the inside. All right? Okay, let's move on to Gaia Oracle today. It's number 17, beautiful lotus flower. Achievement. Keep focused on your dream. All right, so in a reflection, basically our, our own path, where are we at? Achievement. We're achieving it. We're doing it. You will soon achieve a goal you had set for yourself. Your hard work and persistence is about to pay off. Know that you deserve all the success that is coming your way. Quietly acknowledge this to yourself as you celebrate your achievements. Thank the earth and the universe for this blessing and the knowledge that all you do is a co-creation with the higher powers that be. Basically give gratitude to God. Then refocus your attention back to the task at hand. Do not lose sight of your original purpose and intention. This is only the beginning. Much more can be accomplished provided you keep focused on your dream. Remember what is truly important to you. It may be helpful to set a new goal. This could be bigger and more fulfilling than you ever imagined. So we keep climbing the stairs. We keep going up. Climb the ladder. We, we achieve one thing, but then we go on to work um, for something else. It is not only that way in this density, it's that way in every density. We're always trying to climb higher. Okay? When we reach enlightenment and are one with the Creator, we'll get there. It's all right, but this is a learning process. Be in the moment. Your shamanic healing today is number 18. All right, 17, 18. See? One rung on the ladder at a time. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, right? All right. That's just something we used to say when I was a teenager. All right. Every experience you have in your lifetime has the potential to be a teaching tool. By remembering and embracing this idea, the situations you encounter become less fraught with unneeded emotion and drama. By not attaching labels or expectations to people and situations, you allow the pure divine energy to flow um, impeded. Yeah, let's not stop the flow. Go with the flow. While you may have little control over what happens to you at times, you always have control over how you react. Do you react on an impulse? Strike out at others when you feel hurt? 
Do you crawl into your safe place when the world seems mean and hurtful? Face this challenge in your life head on. Be thankful for the opportunity to experience whatever it is that is happening. Set yourself a goal of learning from every situation in your life. Find that silver lining. It is there. Yep. Beautiful. All right. Let's move on to Sacred Traveler. And it is about passion and pleasure. We're having a bonfire with the gypsies, apparently. Savor your life. All right. Beautiful. When was the last time you partied? All right. Find joy in the moment. No matter what is occurring in your life, if you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Apparently, we get to eat. Love often and live fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. Yeah. You know, when we're empaths, we tend to take on, you know, you could be in a great place in your life and, and want to celebrate and be happy. And then somebody comes along and tries to bring you down. Don't allow someone else's jealousy to take your joy. Okay. Now, if someone generally has something wrong, still don't let them take your joy. You can help. You can pray with them. You can assist them. You can guide them. But remember, that doesn't take your joy. All right? What did you ask your angel today? Or angels, your guides? What's your shoulda, coulda, woulda? Because the answer is, maybe this pertains to you. It's up to you. I think it pertains to everybody. It's free will. It really is wherever you're at right now. It's up to you. So let's see what they say. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. In order to come to a successful conclusion, this situation requires your unique perspective and experience. You can do it. All right, let's see. Your healing therapy today, the path to light, which I hope that we are all on. I think we are. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I transform my weakness into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Well, our path and our achievements all up to us. We're happy. We're moving forward. We're already doing it. We're going to keep going. All right. Starseed Oracle today. The Seas of Mintaka. You watch. I'm probably butchering it. You'll correct me in the comments. Mintaka. I don't know why that sounds like sushi. Okay. Uh, seeing potential. Bringing unconsciousness to light. All right, that's part of our path to light, maybe. Let's see. Mintaka is thought to have been a water-based planet. Oh, okay. Containing the most crystal clear waters you could ever imagine. So clear that you could see for miles and miles underwater. The Seas of Mintaka card represents this crystalline clarity of potential and possibility. It's about the ability and choice to see the potential in all people and situations. This could be one of your natural traits, or it could be a sign that what you're currently doing has great potential. Mintakans are thought to have been a galactic race who saw the light in everything and everyone. You may have received this card as confirmation that a situation or project has extreme potential and will reach fruition. If it appears in a spread, it's a very positive sign that things are working out for the highest potential of all involved. It's a very uplifting, light-filled card that brings great harmony, contentment, and positive outcomes. All right. According to Carl Jung, that which we do not bring to consciousness appears in our life as fate. 
When water appears in dreams and art, it often represents the unconscious mind. Pulling this card also means you may be called to bring to light any unconscious patterns of which you're unaware, to look at them and see them clearly and consciously, so they don't appear in your life as fate. What unconscious patterns and behaviors are ready to be brought to the light of day? It is up to you, remember? Bring happiness and joy. All right. Telepathy Tree Oracle today. Ooh. Deep. Deep into the seas, right? Look deeply within and discover your soul purpose in relationship. What is your purpose? Sometimes we have relationships we're involved with. We're not quite sure. You have to go a little deeper to figure out what exactly am I doing here? How can I help? How can I bring light? How can I bring love? Sometimes we have to dig a little deeper because we're not even sure, but that's okay. Prayer and meditation and self-reflection can help bring that answer to us. All right. Your extra card from tarot that we pulled today is number seven of the major arcana. And this is the chariot card. It's a beautiful card. It's about movement. You're on the move. You are following your path. Okay. You have the reins of the chariot. You are moving forward. You've overcome so much. It's about overcoming adversities and moving forward. You see the dark to light. Okay, like I said, the power is in your hands. You get to steer it wherever you want on your path. So let's avoid running it into a ditch. Keep focused and have fun while you're doing it because you're achieving it. This is about making achievements. You've overcome so much. All right, your reward is at hand, but be in the moment. All right. All right, that is your reading for this Friday, July the 5th, 2024. I hope you got a blessing. I hope you have an absolute beautiful weekend. And if there's anything I can do for you and you need to schedule a reading or talk, reach out to me. Email and phone number are always in the description. All right, guys, I will see you. Let's see, King, well, Ace has a show tomorrow, and then I will see you on Monday. Y'all be blessed.